Good evening. Could more revelations be coming in the priest abuse scandal first uncovered nearly two decades ago? Tomorrow, an organization in the church will release a comprehensive list of priests and clergy members with credible accusations of abuse against them dating back decades. The list could include new names we haven't heard before. Joe Dana is following our big story tonight. And Joe, what should we expect? It's not known yet how this could impact Arizona. Jesuits West is a religious order of the Catholic Church that oversees Jesuit high schools and universities. Rofi College Prep has already alerted the community this news is about to drop. On Friday, faculty and staff at this prominent Jesuit school in Phoenix and 70 other Jesuit high schools and colleges throughout the West will pay close attention to what's in a new report on priest abuse. Any disclosure is good, and we, we totally welcome that. Tim Lennon is with Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priests, known as SNAP. Lennon says the list could provide the opportunity for someone who has remained silent to see their perpetrator finally outed. The other thing is um, those who have been abused may look at that list and say, why isn't uh, the person that perpetrated that uh, abused me is not on the list. Jesuit West tells 12 News it will include new names of priests with credible accusations against them, but none actively work at a Jesuit school. And even though Brophy's president put the community on alert two weeks ago, there's no indication the school will be mentioned in this report. Friday's announcement could also reveal more cover-ups by church institutions. Whether it's the province of the Jesuits or your local diocese. So since the cover-up scandal was really exposed by the Boston Globe back in 2002, we have seen in Arizona more than 60 Catholic priests publicly accused of abuse. Cases dating back decades. Whether this list includes more Arizona priests We'll have to wait and see. And even if there is just one new name that's associated with Arizona, victims advocates believe that this really is a big deal. Yeah, it could be because look what happens when there is sort of a crack in the dam caused by one victim coming forward. The dam can just bust wide open, revealing much more. So take Tim with Snap, who I interviewed, right? When he went public in 2016 about being raped as a child by a priest decades earlier in Iowa, he says 10 former classmates came forward and disclosed they were victims of that same mm. priest as well. Sometimes just one case can lead to many others. All right. Thanks so much.